Hi everyone, Keith Bryant, CEO of USA Judo. Uh, welcome to the next edition of the USA Judo video blog. I'm outside today in the beautiful Colorado weather with the US Olympic Museum behind me. Uh, it's gonna be a 60,000 square foot building that's being built currently, as you can see. It'll be the home of the US Olympic Hall of Fame. Uh, also, we'll have interactive exhibit space, a state-of-the-art theater, gift shop, cafe, and a broadcast studio. And the museum is part of the Colorado Springs downtown renovation and continuing to market its itself as Olympic City USA. Uh, it's scheduled to open tentatively in, uh, in late 2019, and once it's open, I hope that you all will come down and, uh, and check it out, and it's just down the street from the USA Judo offices, so I hope that you'll visit us there as well. So now is a really busy time of year for all of us in the judo community, just coming off senior nationals and getting ready for JOs. And so I have a lot to share with you during this blog. Uh, speaking of Hall of Fames, like the one behind me, we recently were informed that U.S. judoka's Rusty Kanakogi and Jimmy Pedro will be inducted into the IJF Hall of Fame this September in Baku, Azerbaijan, as part of the, the World Championships festivities. And so on behalf of USA Judo and um, the American judo community, I just want to congratulate both Jimmy and the Kanakogi family uh, for their accomplishments. We know that they're, they speak for themselves for everything that you've done for American judo, and we know how well-deserving you are, and just want to let you know how proud we are of you. So we just came off of uh, Senior National Championships in Round Rock, Texas, and overall I think it was a great competition. We had nearly 500 Shi'ai and Kata competitors, so thank you all for coming down and competing. Also, it was uh, our Director of Membership and Events, Spencer Molnar's first solo event uh, in that capacity, and uh, I thought he did a pretty good job for his first judo event. And, uh, but we are getting feedback from you all. You may have re received the survey already if, uh, if you were down in Round Rock participating, and we have gotten some, uh, some feedback on that, and I want to let you know that we are looking at ways we can always improve. As, uh, as good as things may have gone, there are definitely ways that, uh, that we can do better, and we're constantly looking to improve events for our, our judo membership. Also down in Round Rock, we had our Night of Champions event. Uh, proud to say that uh, the event was sold out. It was just a great opportunity to recognize three of our volunteers that have been doing such good work uh, in the judo community. And uh, as a fundraising event, it generated, generated $17,000 of revenue to go back into USA Judo programs and services. So thank you to everybody that came out to Night of Champions. Also on the Sunday morning of uh, Senior National Championships weekend, we held our first American Judo Volunteer Network. My thanks goes out to Lynn Thursby for really taking the lead on that initiative. We had some really good discussion, and as a result, uh, we put together a survey to try to collect information and data of people that would like to volunteer and contribute their services and expertise in different areas to help us uh, continue to grow the sport and serve all the membership uh, and so also my thanks goes out to Jessica Merhout for uh, putting the survey together. You can find the link at the bottom of the screen here and also in the body of this newsletter. So the next USA Judo National event coming up is our Junior Olympics, which will be in Spokane, Washington, June 22nd to 24th. This is the second year in a row that we are having that event in Spokane. And for those of you that went last year, I think you'd agree that uh, once there, it is a, a first class event. We've got a, a great uh, facility in the convention center with hotels right across the street. And our local hosts do a, a great job at really running uh, a very well organized event. Uh, I know it's a, quite a, a trip for those of you on the East Coast, and uh, we are continuing to move the national events all around the country, so not any one region would be inconvenienced, but for this upcoming event, Spokane, I really encourage you to get out there because uh, it's a great venue and a great setup uh, once you get there. Also want to mention that hotels are filling up fast. Uh, the, very, the primary hotel, I think, is pretty much booked, and so we're into the secondary hotel, so please make note of that. And there seems to be a, a greater interest in the Sunday event, the international competition. And I know that we've had increased participation coming from Canada and from Mongolia, and we'll have some other countries participating as well. Related to the, the JOs in Spokane, we are gonna have a pre and a post camp. Uh, the pre-camp will be at the International Training Center in Tigard, Oregon. It's about a five and a half hour drive from Spokane, and that's going to be at the uh, Pacific Rim Martial Arts Academy. Uh, I mentioned this in the last blog, and you can find the link below to get some more information, but Mike Martin is organizing it, and there'll be two Japanese uh, judoka champions that will be there really focusing on technique, and uh, there is going to be a lot of caution involved to not have
have any injuries uh, as much as possible prior to JO. So make sure you take a look at that. And then also uh, post JOs, just like last year, Burt Mackey and the folks up in the Pacific Northwest will be uh, hosting the post camp that will be on Monday and Tuesday there at the Spokane Convention Center where the, the competition venue will take place as well. So you can find more information at this link uh, for the post camp and my thanks go out to, uh, to Bert and Mike for organizing these two camps. So as we enter the month of June, that is our next month for our National Tri Judo for Free campaign. And this is a concept I've mentioned in the past uh, on our website, social media and videos. And it's really a, a simple concept and it's open up your dojo to your local community, let people come in and try judo for free during the, the three times a year that we're promoting. And that's uh, in February during President's Day weekend. June in conjunction with Olympic Day, which is a national um, recognition campaign of the Olympic movement that the USOC and the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, uh, push out as well so we can build off of that momentum. And then the last one would be in October during World Judo Day uh, to celebrate Jigaro Kano's uh, birthday. So three times of every, about every four months during the year, uh, we can have national initiatives uh, with USA Judo, with JA, with JF, all of our clubs around the country, really to try to promote getting people into the dojo. Because as we all know, once they have a chance to experience it, uh, we think that they will be able to come back. And it also helps us promote our sport to, uh, to make the general public more aware of what's going on in their local community. So a quick update on the American Judo Alliance. Uh, for those of you that were in Round Rock, you experienced that that was the first USA Judo national event where coach certifications from all three of the organizations, USA Judo, JA, and JF, were accepted. I think that went pretty smoothly. Uh, and the next one will be at the, the Junior Olympics. And so for those of you that want to coach at the JOs, make sure that you talk with your coaching education director, make sure that your background checks are updated, uh, your safe sport certifications are updated as well, because those will be necessary to be current uh, for, for you to be able to coach in Spokane. Also, the American Judo development model is something that we've been talking about for, for the last several months. I'm excited to uh, let you know that the, the task force that has been selected will be meeting with uh, the USOC and other representatives here in Colorado Springs in mid-June. And the goal of that is to create uh, at least the initial skeleton of what that American Judo development model would look like. And, um, and it's, a, it's an exciting time for USA Judo and the American Judo community because we've seen more than 10 other sports have in implemented an athlete development model and all of them are experiencing increased growth and better competitive success. So uh, more to come on, on that uh, in the next video blog. I know there's been a lot of talk lately about uh, growing judo within the United States. It's one of the core concepts of USA Judo strategic plan. It's one of the basic points of the American Judo Alliance agreement. And I know it's been discussed a lot on social media and when American Judo could congregate. And uh, I can't speak for, for the other organizations, but I can tell you from USA Judo's perspective, our membership is growing. Maybe not as fast as I would like or maybe others, but I can tell you that we have surpassed past the 10,000 member mark three or four times in the last couple of months. And while we've kind of thrown out often that uh, we're a 10,000 member organization, the truth is that uh, those numbers fluctuate on a daily basis. And so for the last several years, it's been between nine and 10,000. And uh, But I can say consistently, we've been over the 10,000 mark several times, which I think is a good sign to show that retention is better and that membership is growing. Additionally, from a USA Judo Club's perspective, we're on target to have more than 400 USA Judo Clubs across America, which I think is the first time in many years, if uh, maybe the most historically that we've ever had. So again, while we can look at numbers and statistics, they're rising, maybe not as fast as we would like it to. I do think it's important that we recognize some of the positive things that are going on within American Judo right now. And uh, I appreciate everybody at the local level promoting the sport. And I appreciate the positivity that's starting to, to emerge from the American Judo community and the collaborative efforts that we're making. And so I would really encourage everybody to keep that positive uh, positive energy that's going to, to grow our sport because in the end of the day, you know, the rising tide lifts all ships. And if we're working together and growing our sport, everybody will benefit and the American public will benefit. So uh, please keep up the good work for, for those of you that are, are promoting judo in your local communities. So in closing, I just want to thank our membership, our members, our club owners, coaches, our referees, parents, 
uh, and our athletes for, for your continued support of USA Judo and supporting our, our great sport in this country overall. So I look forward to seeing most of you hopefully in Spokane and if not there, hopefully somewhere else sometime soon. Thanks again.